Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Mechanics, and I'm here with the team to share a workout with you today that's not only safe, but massively effective in building strength, increasing mobility, and just raising your overall energy levels. The best part about this workout, you can do it anywhere, even from home. Oh, and one more thing. If you have any questions during the workout, if you want to have uh, someone check on your form, if you have questions about modifications to make it a little more challenging or make some parts a little bit easier, if you just have questions about reaching your goals as quickly and efficiently and safely as possible, click the link below, reach out to us. We're more than happy to help and we're here to support you. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we're going to start off the workout like we do with all our workouts with 2-3 to three minutes of blood flow and if you guys have like jump rope or a piece of a cardio equipment at home you can use that for 2-3 minutes or we can just cycle through this little sequence that I'm going to demonstrate right now. So first we're going to start with some jogging on the spot, so real li really light on our toes and we're just going to down side to side and then you can alternate through this. So we go bouncing side to side, then we'll go foot kicks, just bring the heels up towards the back of your butt, then we'll go into high knees, and then we can cycle through our jumping jacks, and then take it back down again and cycle through that, so like 20 seconds on each one, and then just keep alternating for two to three minutes. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with some uh, mobility um, exercises just to get ready for our uh, strength work. So first one we're going to start off with is going to be overhead rotation. So if you have a pole handy, you can use a broomstick or um, anything else um, that uh, will work. You can just grab that and we'll do the same thing. So uh, overhead rotation, we're going to start off, we're going to try and hit up 15 repetitions. And so the further our hands are away, the less tension there's going to be throughout the stretch. So if you want, you can pull your hands in a bit closer, back up overhead, squeeze around. You can see the closer my hands get in, the more of a stretch I'll get. We're still going to try and keep everything in controlled tension. So bracing our abs, squeezing everything together, back around, and then reach up overhead, reach behind, trying to get through our full range of uh, movement. So we're going to try and do 15 overhead rotations or shoulder dislocates and then we're going to move on to our figure eight stance so we're going to try and go figure eights and we're going five each side on this one so you can hinge through the butt on this so hinge out we're going to come down to the floor we're going to get some rotation we're going to exaggerate our side bend so we get a big stretch to relax and we're going to exaggerate the back bend and then we're just going to try and string it all together flow through it and it's going to be five in one direction, then I'll swap and go five into the opposite direction. And then after that one then we're going to go back into our Cuban rotations. So we're going to go through a few different variations. So we're going to start just Cuban rotations, we're going to do a Cuban press, and then we're just going to add from the press, we're going to add into a pull down. So each time we're going to add in a small bit more. So we're going to do five of each. So the first one I'm just going to start with the regular rotations, uh, elbows at uh, 90 degrees, shoulder blades pulled back, we're just going to rotate up overhead and then come forward as much as possible. Rotate up overhead, forward as possible. So it's going to be five of these, so that's three, four and five. Then on the, on the fifth one or the sixth one should I say we're going to add, so rotate, back, then we're going to add the press big press up overhead, back down to 90 degrees and then repeat until we hit 5 of these. So once you get 5 of these ones, then we're going to add the big press. So this will be my 11th one. We're going to pull back, shoulder blades back and then we're going to add a big pull down, pulling down as far as possible. Back to 90 degrees. Down, back around, big push through. So all the time I'm squeezing this bar as much as I can, I'm bracing my abs as much as possible and I'm trying to create as much control tension as possible as I go through all of this, okay? And then 
the, our next one then we're just gonna do a couple of shoulder rotations to finish and that's gonna be everything. So just gonna squeeze up overhead, rotate around, squeeze up overhead, and to start we're gonna go protraction through the shoulder blade, up overhead, rotate, trying to keep the arm as tight as possible to the body without compensating. Again, control tension. Finish that off, and that's our mobility stuff done. And we're gonna go through two rounds of that, and then we get into our strength warm up. Okay, so let's get into our strength warm up. So before we get into our main strength phase, we're just gonna get our joints prepared for uh, the work we're gonna do in a few minutes. So we're gonna start off with some scapula pull. So we're working on the elevation and depression of our scapula. Um, which is really important in our vertical pull stuff. So our basically our pull-ups, our chin-ups, or anything like that. So first one we're going to do is if you can hang from a bar or rings or um, wherever you can hang or do your pull-ups from, that's where we're going to start. So um, we're going to jump up. We're going to just dead hang to start. Um, when we dead hang, so we don't want to be in this uh, exaggerated lumbar position, we're going to pull into hollow body and we're going to compress the abs through. And then we're going to go from a dead hang and we're going to make it an active hang by pulling the shoulder blades down towards the floor. Relax back down. Pull down. Relax back down. And we're going, we're going to repeat this for 10 repetitions. Arms stay straight. And we're just trying to get as active as we can through there. Abs compressed in and try and make it as controlled and tensionized as possible. From there then, then we're gonna try and do a few skin the cats. So um, uh, this one, obviously we need a bar or rings again. Um, I'll do it on the bar, but if you have rings set up, uh, perfect. I actually really like the rings, it's a lot easier on grip, rotates around, can be a bit more friendly on your shoulders. But if you don't, let's just do the uh, skin the cat on the bar. So we're just gonna go for between like two and five repetitions on this. Focusing on the shoulder extension at the bottom, so when we get into the bottom part or the German hang, and um, just spend a couple of seconds in there and really try and open up. Um, so a few variations as well. If you have the straight arm skin the cat where you can uh, where you can straight arm pull and come into that, you can do that. If you don't, you can bend your arms. But then we're at the bottom in this German hind, working on our shoulder extension. We're gonna spend a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna pull back up, control down, hand. And then we'll repeat for two to five repetitions on your skin to cap. And then after that then, we're going to do a couple of rows. So you can do ring rows. If you have a band, you can do like, you could set up a band on a door frame. And you can literally just pull through your, uh, your ring row, your, your banded rows through here. Pull the scapula back, drive the elbow back, abs stay tight. We'll do like five each arm on your uh, banded rows. If you have uh, some rings, you can do your, your rows on your rings. Just getting ready to go. And then to finish then, we'll just do a couple of pull-ups. So uh, we're trying to string everything together. So we're gonna take scapula pull. We're gonna drive our elbows um, back 45 degree angle at the, try, at the top. We're gonna try and get as high as possible. We're gonna try and stay in hollow body. So we're trying to stay, string everything together. So on the bar, bed hang, relax down, into the hollow body. Then we're gonna pull, elbows get driven back as far as possible. Up over the bar, back down, and dead hang. And then relax, and we'll probably do two sets of that and you'll be really warmed up and ready to go for our first strength set. Uh, first strength set, we're gonna try and do some skin the cats, focusing on holding in front lever and back lever. We're gonna try and spend two seconds in the front lever, two seconds in the back lever if possible, and then we're gonna go top bar, iso hold, and then a reverse crunch and dragon flag. Or you can do the dragon flag and then throw in a few reverse crunches. And um, we're gonna try and do three, three reps of the first exercise. And um, the ISO hold after that, we're gonna try and hold for like five to 30 seconds. And then the last one's gonna be like three to 10 reps again. So um, it will look something like this. So we're gonna squeeze up, go into tuck position. 
we're going to try and come around, all the way around, and then we're going to try and hold in back lever. So this is tuck back lever. Obviously your full back lever, you're going to have your feet out extended. But we're just going to try and hold here. Then you can come back around. And then we're going to try and hold shoulder blades into retraction for full lever. Tuck, hold for three seconds. And you can come back down and then try and come back around and repeat if, if possible. Then we're going straight into an ISO bar hold on the top, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to jump up, grab a bar, you can just go regu regular grip, pull up through, pause and hold. We're going to try and do five to 30 seconds. And then last one to finish, we're going to grab some reverse crunches or dragon flags. So reverse crunch, gonna look something like this. So feet out, reverse crunch in, you can extend back out, or you can come all the way up into candlestick, push the hips through, we can control down, pull back up, or if you want you can like split stand, straddle, and then throw in a couple of them with the reverse crunch as well. And that's going to finish our set. All right, so strength set number two for our pull work is going to be three exercises and we're going to do three sets. So first one is just going to be a pull up and we're going to work at variable grip. So what we mean by variable grip is we're just going to change the grip up each time we do a set. Not each rep, but at each set. So we're going to complete one one set uh, with one grip, whether it be uh, pronated or supinated or semi-supinated. Um, or if you really only have one way of doing your pull-ups or chin-ups, if there's only one bar you have, uh, stick with whatever you got. We're basically just going to try and do 90% of our maximum um, with a, a two-second pause at the top. Then we're going to try and do some rows, and then we're going to do a forearm plank, but we're going to be on the tops of our feet. So uh, we're going to try and do pull-ups, Hit the hollow body again, we're just hanging, we're pulling, pause at the top for two seconds, all the way back down again. Pause at the top, drive the elbows back, so I'm driving my elbows back towards you guys, and then I'm back down, I'm hanging. So, that was regular pull up grip, so the next time I go around I'll go chin up, or I'll go palms facing each other. So that's going to be our first exercise, then we're going to do ring rows, or whatever way you're able to do rings. And this one we're gonna go a three, three, three tempo. Three second pull, three second pause, three second knee centric, okay? So it's gonna be one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, control back down. And that's gonna be our tempo. So it's slow and controlled and we're really building up time under tension. The last one then, we're gonna go for 30 seconds, upward to a minute, so we're gonna aim for a minute, minimum 30 seconds, we'll try and get 30 seconds. I think everyone can do that, most people. And then we're all gonna aim for one minute mark. So we're gonna be on our forearms, and then the foot position is the only thing that's gonna be different. So on the tops of our feet, so we're gonna be feet turned out here, pushed up through, And we're gonna hold there for 30 seconds to one minute. That's our last set, three rounds. You can take up to three minute rest in between and then we are done. Okay, so some core conditioning to finish. Last one, we're just gonna try and work one side at a time. So we're gonna go side plank hold for 30 seconds, side plank over arches for eight reps. Then we're gonna flip over to the other side and do the exact same thing. And then we're just gonna go heel taps for maximum reps. So we're just gonna get a ton of oblique stuff work just to finish with our core conditioning, okay? So let's go, I'll do one side and then the heel taps just so you can see each exercise. So side plank hold, you can do on your, and uh, I'll do it on my left side, just see, so you can do it on your straight arm or if you want, if you wanna avoid putting too much pressure on a wrist or shoulder that's uh, feeling a bit weird, you can do it on the elbow, so. Um, but for this, I'll just demonstrate it on my arm. So straight arm, push through, Hand is stacked under your shoulder, push through, and we're just gonna hold for 30 seconds. Squeezing the abs, compress through the floor, 
make it as hard as you can. You can squeeze your glutes as well. And then we're gonna go straight into the arches, so over arch. So hip down, push up through. Hip down, push up through. So it's up, push, true. And we're going for eight. Once you get eight on that, then we're going to flip over. We're going to side plank hold on the opposite side. Then we're going to straight into the side over arches. So once you got both sides done, then we're going to go heel taps. So we're just going to come down. We're going to compress, crunch up. So to, to show you guys on the side, it's abs compressed into the lower back. We're pushed up like we do in hollow body. And we're just going to try and keep that tension on. And then we're going to work down touching the heels and we're going for max repetitions to finish on that one then. So once our obliques are all fired up and you're all burnt out, you can rest, get 90 seconds to three minute rest, probably keep it on the shorter end for a core work on the rest and then uh, we go three sets and then you are finished. Okay, so just to finish, guys, we're just going to cool down. We're going to do some uh, static stretching. And we're going to try and uh, elongate the stretches now. We're really going to focus on our breathing, get the heart rate back down, and we're going to try and return our central nervous system back into recovery mode. So take it out of that uh, fight and getting ready to relax and recover mode, okay? So um, first we're going to start off in on the floor. We're going to bring our foot to our heels. We're just going to relax down, try and get nice and long. We're gonna chill here for like 20 to 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna walk my hands out to one side. I'm gonna try and stretch through my lats. So you get a big stretch through here. As I walk around, I'm feeling the stretch through this side of my lats. I'm gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds on this side. I can walk across onto the other side and repeat again. I'm just trying to hold that stretch. And then I'm just gonna ease out of this, come to the floor. I'm going to bring my hands under my chest. I'm going to lift my legs off the floor. And I'm just going to try and get a back bend. So I'm going to push up, get a nice back bend. Big deep breaths. I focus on that back bend. Um, and then our last stretch then, we're going to spend like 30 seconds to one minute again, try and relax. Big deep breaths, get everything and relax again, we're going to hold the rack and we're going to do a rack lat stretch. So, um, we're just going to pull, so say whatever hand you use to hold the rack, the same leg is going to be back behind. So I'm holding with my right hand, my right foot is going to be behind. I'm going to hinge my hips out, so I'm going to, I'm going to push my butt away. I'm pulling the rack in towards my body, so I'm pulling in. As you can see, when I pull, my lats switch on here. So. I'm gonna get that stretch through my lats right there. Then I'm gonna turn my chest underneath so I can get a big stretch across this sling of lat muscle that goes all the way across my back. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds to a minute, relax out of that, and then we'll do the exact same thing on the opposite arm. And then we are finished, cool down, and your workout is complete. If you like this video, hit the like button below. Be sure to share it with your friends or anyone else who might enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel now and follow us on Instagram or Facebook. I'll see you in the next video.